Good morning, kindergarten. It is Mrs. Merritt. Today we're going to do module four, lesson one. And for today's lesson, you'll need something to write with and something to write on. So if you need a minute, go ahead and pause me and get those things and then come on back. Okay, I'm so glad you're back. Our objective is today is I will model breaking apart and putting together numbers up to five in a a lot of different ways. So we're going to look how the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 are made today. To warm up our brain, we're going to do some five frame counting dots and spaces. Now you guys have gotten really good at subitizing, which means you just look at something, you know the number, and you say it. So I'm going to ask you how many dots and how many spaces. How many dots? How many spaces? Five, good job. How many dots? One. How many spaces? Empty spaces. Four. Nice job. How many dots? Two. How many empty spaces? Three. How many dots? Three. How many empty spaces? Two. How many dots? Four. How many empty spaces? How many dots? Five. How many empty spaces? Zero. Nice job. We're going to make numbers three, four, and five with our finger combinations now. So I want you to make the number three. Can you put up one finger? And then how many more do I need to make three? So count up with me, but get your other hand ready. One, two, three. How many do I have in this hand? One. How many do I have over here? Two. So one and two make three. Say it with me. One and two make three. I want to make three again, but this time I have how many up on this hand? One, two. And then I count up and I need three. So two and one make three. Two and one make three. I want to make four this time. One, two, three, four. One and three make four. I'd like to make four again, but this time I have two fingers up. So two, three, four, two and two make nice. I want to make four again. This time I have three. So three, four, three and one make job. Now we're going to make five. So I have one. Two, three, four, five. One and four make five. Two, three, four, five. Two and three make five. Three, four, Five. Three and two make five. Four, five. Four and one make. Good job. You guys did awesome. So we're going to start using word problems this module. And the first one we're going to do right now. So. I need you to get your paper and your um, utensil to write with and listen carefully to my story. So Julie went to the beach and she found three seashells. Her sister Megan found two more seashells. How many seashells did they find? So we're going to figure out how many they found in all. On your paper, 
I want you to draw a picture that would show this. Julia went to the beach and found three seashells. Her sister found two more. How many did they find in all? Okay, so let's work through this together. So Julia found three. One, two, three. Her sister, Megan, found two more. So do I take them away or do I add them? I add them. Very good. One, two. How many did they find in all? So all of these together, how many did they find? Well, we can count. One, two, three, four, five. They found five seashells in all. I know this because three and two added together are five. So three and two make five. So this is my favorite, one of my favorite units to teach in kindergarten because we get to do these things called number bonds. And number bonds have two parts and one whole. So what we're going to do is we're going to play a little game. We're going to put one child on the top circle and then the other two children on the other top circle. Now these are our two parts and we'll learn more about this later but you always want to remember that your two parts make your whole and your whole is where the two lines come together to the one circle because it's the two things coming down to one which makes our whole because when we did just with the seashells we did two and three those were our two parts but together our whole we had five right so we're going to do the same thing together. So we have this circle filled in and we have this circle filled in. How would I figure out what's down below? Well, let me go to the next slide and explain it. You always want to think of these lines as little paths. Pretend your numbers are going to a party. So in this case, our numbers are children and we are going to get these kiddos to a party so these they have to walk along these paths though so this part yes down here so one he's gonna join our party then this student's gonna join our party see how they all walk down the path to the hole yeah so what's my whole? How many kids all came to this party? One, two, three. Very good. So I had one and two. And when they all came to the party, how many kids did I have at the party? Three. One, two, three. So we can say one and two make three. Nice job. Now we're going to put two uh, kiddos in the top circle. And then we're going to put two kiddos in this other circle. And I know these are my parts. This is how a number bond works. And they're going to walk to the party. So can you put these two kiddos up on your fingers just like this? One, two. And then let's put these kids on the, our other hand. One two we have two and two is one two three four very good the only time those two parts come together is that hole so they never come together those two parts until you walk them across the paths to make that hole see they would walk down that's what we just did. We did four. I'm going to put three kids in this circle. And then one student up here. 
Now these kids are going to walk to the party. So one, two, three, and then four, because he comes to the party, right? So we had three on one circle, one part, we had one on the other. We can say that three and one makes one, two, three, four. Nice job. So your parts are always separate. And then when they walk, those numbers, or in this case, our numbers are kids. When those numbers are kids go walking on this special path, it's really special, comes to this hole. And that's when they come together. So the two separate parts, and then they come together for the whole. Let's do a few more. We are going to put three children on the top circle. And the two student, or two children on the other circle. So here's my two parts. I want you to figure out what my whole is going to be. So when these students go walking on the path, what how many are going to be down here when we add them all together go ahead pause me and then unpause me when you're ready so let's count as we walk them one two three four five so we had three in one circle we have two and another, and that makes one, two, three, four, five. So we can bind the parts or we add them together. What I want you to remember from today's lesson is that when we do number bonds, we're going to have two parts, and it's going to equal a whole. Now, your whole is always the circle that has the two lines connecting it. And it's because the whole needs the two parts. Okay? All right. You guys have an exit ticket today. It's going to be using butterflies to create number bonds, which is super cool. And you're going to figure out the two parts and the whole sometimes. And sometimes you're just going to figure out what the two parts are based on a picture. Okay? Have a wonderful day. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me, and I will talk with you soon. See you later.